Welcome back, guys. We are ripping up these guys from last time, uh, finishing up the fight here, going ahead and ending all these fires. I'm learning that giving out commands is very, very handy. It's a very handy thing. Uh, but yeah, so we're, we're cleaning these guys up, and uh, we have a few people left here. Uh, like this fellow, this individual here, and we got some flyers. These guys have went ahead and decided to change their minds and go ahead and, uh, and assist in the fight that's going on here. And, I'm, you know, I'm totally cool with that because we're doing good. We're reloading, we're we, uh, repairing, and our parts are in the surplus. We have actually gained, uh, you know, a good amount of parts. We started, at, I think, around 57, and now we're at uh, 57.5. So, uh, so, yeah, it's pretty good, pretty good. Blowing this guy up, that's right. Alright, let's give out some more commands, since we are a commander. Don't even know where I'm at, Pro probably at the bottom of the ocean. And, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and tell everyone to go ahead and combat this guy. Let's, let's mop him off the face of the earth. Uh, cause, like, yeah. Actually, it looks like everyone's already attacking this guy, naturally. I think he's the only enemy that's left. Our princesses were a great decoy, though, at the beginning of this. Like, they went out, they slowed down these forces, they did their job. And, uh, yeah, and now, now they're, you know, there's, there's two out of four still remaining. Uh, you know, the others, oh, he's still shooting. Now look at him go, he's still shooting. Fantastic job, yeah, you go, man. Your girl, whatever. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, yeah, alright, so let's just keep this up here. Still working to take this guy out. I tell you what, he is such a tank. But we are sending little tiny laser sh shots over in this direction. Uh, it seems like Daka from the enemy is going ahead and taking out this pretty princess. Or they were nicking him. Her, her for a while and it looks like they have the same set of tanky people going ahead and flying on over this way uh, but we are getting a few laser shots on them as you can see some green and some explosions happening here oh was this just one ship oh it's just this one guy going to reinforce in a desperate attempt to rescue his uh his ally which is being bombarded upon the ocean uh trying to rescue him but i don't think there's gonna be much rescuing going on here where are these other shots coming from where what are these there's like tracers coming out of somewhere. What the heck? There's no one. There's no one else over here. Yeah. Okay. No, it's just this guy. I don't know. I, I thought. I guess I was just seeing things. But it seems like he is too late to the party, and his friend has been brought down. There is nothing left of this guy. Just shambles that are slowly evaporating, little pieces and parts. See you later. Uh, but nice knowing you. Boof. That's right. Boof. And now everyone else has focused their attention on you know who this guy up here. Oh, there he is! Oh, he's being brought down by lasers. Thank goodness. And all the laser fire is coming to you by uh, the pretty princesses. That's right. There's, there's no more meow cats. I, I kind of took them out because they're just made of wood, and they they had highly expensive internal components that were just getting destroyed and costing us tons of resources and no armor to go along with it. So I went ahead and scrapped them, uh, like last episode actually. Uh, but yeah, so it seems like we're doing good. We may go ahead and build a big battleship today. I do kind of feel like in the mood. Uh, well, we'll see how future fights go. But I think the map is pretty clear for now. Seems pretty clear. Uh, yeah, we don't really have any big threats coming. So maybe this is a good time to clean up the fleet, uh, repair one another, and settle in this little land over here that we have discovered for ourselves. It seems like a pretty decent ocean area where we can go ahead and, uh, and build some new crew and just kind of figure out some new formations, so yeah, I think we'll go ahead and do that today. So starting from humble beginnings, we are going to turn this stick raft into our biggest uh, destructive thing yet. <laughs> it's going to be the Rainmaker, and uh, pretty much I'm doing something different this time. I'm going ahead and uh, this, kind of designing the floor level, kind of like the, uh, I guess, I guess the, uh, the underwater level first. And then we're going to kind of build a hull around this part. This is just going to contain the engine area, of course, the, uh, the AI, all our ammo processors, everything. And this is all hopefully going to be sink, sunk under the water. And then uh, yeah, we're going to have a huge kind of aircraft carrier deck is what I'm thinking, kind of like right about here. And maybe like a few uh, control towers in the back, kind of like an aircraft carrier. And maybe some lead weight on this side to uh, kind of balance it out. So that's the idea I'm going with right now. And we'll see uh, how it turns out, but there's sure going to be a lot of guns on this ship. So the little uh, floating raft has become a big floating log, but this is just the beginning. Uh, these are the basics that must be taken, uh, because we have several chambers. We have uh, a lot of weight down here on the bottom. It's pretty cool. Uh, weighing this thing down so it's sinking pretty decently on the, uh, on the sea level. And we have many, many different chambers, like we have one chamber here, we have another chamber here, so like if there's any kind of breach, we'll have uh, plenty of air pumps to keep us afloat. 
And we are made of wood, which wood floats anyway. And this is the main, uh, main weapons room here. Or I guess ammo generation room and fuel room. Uh, I like to throw everything together just because... I don't know. I know normally this doesn't really make sense to put ammo bar barrels next to your most sensitive, um, I guess, equipment, but whatevs. I think it's pretty funny. And so, yeah, so that's pretty much all there is for now. Now we're going to get to the decorating, to the cannon placements, uh, to all the really fancy looking stuff, but we got a pretty good core going on here. And welcome to our pleasure raft, the Rainmaker. That's right. I promise safe passage over any channel. Uh, we have tons of guns that are shooting at a thousand meters away. And they will take care of any problems that, that may arise on our on our journeys. Yes, I I, uh, I recommend it. What the heck is this thing? I don't even know, but whatever. <laughs> that thing will take care of us along with all the guns. Oh my gosh, actually, actually there's a bunch of bullets ricocheting in here. But this little uh, windshield and uh, and friend will go ahead and uh, protect us. <laughs> Maybe not, but this is going to be a great, great addition to the campaign. Uh, I have full confidence in it. As it can bring down quite a bit. I mean, it's got it's got a lot of power behind those four little cannons. I mean, well, not little, but f behind those four cannons, it's quite a deal uh, of power. And uh, and I'm very proud of this thing. It's a very fun ship. It's not to be taken seriously. Uh, it's to be taken for fun. And yeah, so there we go. And we got like windshields, uh, windows kind of blowing apart. <laughs> but uh, yes, yeah, this, this is pretty much who we are. This is what's going on. And I'm going to build it in a campaign starting right now. Alright, so I'm going ahead here and building our Rainmaker in the campaign with my super duper uh, mechanic skills. <laughs> Look at him build so fast with his tail, it's crazy. It's just like... Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Alright, so we're building this guy up here in the campaign. And uh, soon to be uh, joining our main fleet on the horizon here uh, to go ahead and attack what's, what's on the beyond. Let's take a look at the map here. Um, yeah, so just like I said last... Oh, that's right. Alright, so I have our pretty princesses here, kind of guarding the border of our next attack. But, uh, but like I said last episode, we're gonna go ahead and form up out in this ocean here, rebuild the fleet, rearrange them, get maybe a better formation going here, and, uh, yeah, and just kind of attack it like that. I think I might put the subs on the outside of our formation, since, uh, since they have very good defense and their missiles go really far. <clears throat> and of course, I'll be piloting the, uh, the Rainmaker. Well, it seems to be all quiet on the homestead. Uh, it's pretty peaceful here, just floating out in the ocean. I told everyone to go ahead and take a break here, just just kind of turn off for a bit, and uh, and hold this formation at this nice, nice, uh, I guess, I guess, uh, tight section here of the mountains. So we see right here uh, that our enemy is coming in. Got the uh, pretty princesses flying on in over here. Hopefully, they'll keep focused on us until, uh, and these guys will show up later. But yeah, I mean, like in terms of the rest of the map, it seems pretty peaceful, pretty quiet for once. Uh, we don't have to like worry about like being jumped all the time, which is such a relief. And uh, it seems like this is their last ditch effort here. Once we get through this, uh, we we either have to deal with 140 here, or uh, or almost about the same here, about like 120 here. So before we get to their main base and put an end to all of this madness, all of this flyer uh, flyer uh, attacks. So uh oh, looks like they're actually coming in here. Let me, uh, let me get up here. <laughs> let me get up here and whatever the heck these things are. I think these are just like little balconies for myself to just kind of peek out and, uh, and take a look at things. But, um, oh yeah, and I also added some missiles <laughs> onto this ship. Because I always gotta do, I always gotta add something last minute, uh, to our designs, just for fun. And also we got like a nice little missile design here. Oh yeah, let me turn everyone on. Okay, yeah, it's, it's time for war, people. It's time for war, that's right. Okay, good, so now everyone's shooting. <laughs> Very important. Uh, let me make sure my graphics are like way, way down. I also turned down my, my, uh, graphics on my graphics card. Uh, okay, sorry about that. Yeah, that was a little bit of, uh, interruption there. I went to change my graphics settings and everything crashed. But, yes, now we are at the lowest graphical settings possible. So hopefully this, this fight's gonna be a little smoother. Uh, kind of like the calm before the storm. Kind of, uh, kind of nerve-wracking. Okay, so here they come on in. Please, no crashing. There we go. Alright, now turn everybody on, <laughs> just like before. Uh, turn the toys on. Yes, there we go. Toys, toys start shooting. Great. Oh my gosh, I'm underwater already. This is fantastic. <laughs> um, okay. <clears throat> Good, so we are shooting the biggest looking ship up there. Let's take a look with the binoculars here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, that guy looks very mean. Very mean. But, uh, but good thing, good thing we have, uh, a very nice cruiser here that we get to just kind of chill in for a while. And relax. I'm just gonna sit way back here, uh, by the card tables. And, uh, let's, let's zoom out. Oh my gosh, wow, we're getting, we're getting hit really hard. We're getting really, really 
hit really, really hard. Um, I don't even think we're shooting anymore. What the heck? Wow. Okay. What the heck is this ship up here? This is like something I don't think we've seen before. Is it that big tanky guy? Oh, wow. This is a really tough force. I don't know, guys. I don't know. And it kind of stinks, too, because I didn't get a chance to put the shields on our uh, Ocean Avengers. So they're kind of, uh... They're, they're kind of, like, uh, not ready for this kind of damage. We're probably going to lose a little bit of resources. No big deal. But I do believe in the future, uh, shields will go ahead and, uh, and protect our resources uh, from draining uh, through all these different fights. But, oh, man. Okay, so it looks like the subs are working. Everything's operational. We are in a perfect formation right now to go ahead and give it to them. Um... And that's exactly what we're doing. I mean, like, look at this. We're going all out. Actually, we're hammering this guy quite a bit. Oh, wait, are the princesses in, in line now? Are they, are they in? Okay, cool. They're, they're ready. They're ready to come on in. So let's have them enter in the battle here to make things even slower. <laughs> um, okay, all right. So there's a lot going on here. A lot of chaos. Uh, oh, the princesses are way, way over there. Oh, but they're already shooting with their lasers. Thank goodness, just in the nick of time. Just before these guys went ahead and flew on our faces. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Look at all those, look at all those, like, kinetic shots just, like, coming on in. Like, right... Oh, man. This is like... This is like some kind of, uh, what do you call it? Uh, sci-fi movie. <laughs> like, like, where the aliens invade or something. Oh, my God, he's coming to crash right on us. And a bullet just, like, hit me. Wow. Wow. And I'm getting knocked out of my ship. Oh, because that was an explosive round. That makes sense. Okay, well... I probably belong outside of this ship anyway. Look at this guy. Wow. That's pretty hectic. But luckily, the laser ship's laser air force is coming in right over there. They're coming on in. And it looks like we're at least bringing this guy down. Yeah, these guys are getting messed up. They're just getting like, look at that poof. Look at them poofy uh, little fans just blowing all off, colliding into each other like a big old fat mess. That's right, that's how, that's how we do it here in, in Budlandia. That's how we do it. Um, and this guy over here, he's a big fat mess too. I mean, like, he's a tank. Like, these guys are always tanks, but... But they ain't no big... They ain't, they ain't no big deal. Ain't no big deal. I mean, they got some good cannons on the front, but other than that, when you start spinning around like that, just forget about it. Well, what are all these kinetic shots coming from? Oh, yeah, this guy's always trouble. I'm gonna go ahead and tell our laser ships to go ahead and take this guy out right now. Because... Oh, my gosh. Oh, here we go. Pretty, yeah. They're the pretty ones. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll go target this guy up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's like number one. There we go. Now they're starting to focus in on this guy because he is... I don't know why he's not a big threat, but he is. He is. Like, the AI needs to, like, focus this guy, like, heavy duty. There we go. We're lighting up. Look, he's, like, catching on fire. Ha <laughs> ha. It's like, start a campfire here, guys. Yeah, start it here. So get, get your lasers on this guy. Let's take a look. <laughs> He thought he was all, like, invincible up here, like, no one could hurt him. Because really, we can't, we can't hurt this guy with our DACA from, like, this kind of altitude that he's at. Luckily, our reinforcements, they are just, like, yeah, they're, they're totally just, like, bringing this guy down. Because everyone else is already down, down there, so, uh, I mean, look at this. We're just cruising around, like, just mopping up now. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, pretty good sauce over there. And this guy's, <laughs> I mean, he's a tough guy. I tell you what, these, these, uh, these flyers... This flyer uh, faction, they're, they're pretty tough. Oh, look, they got like a little seat on there too. All like reckless and stuff, just like me. Aw, that's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. But okay, he's going down. So I'm just trying to come up from the surface here. Just jumping up, swimming up, trying to poke my head out and see what is going on up here in the melee. And alright, so that guy's a big old boneyard right there. That's cool. That's cool. And uh, let's see if I can land on my own ship for crying out loud. Okay. Um, there we go. And landing. Oh, that's right. I can repair it too. Yes. Yes, my masterful repair. No one can out damage my repairs. It's crazy. It's like uh, like 100 and like 270 50 million <laughs> repair skill. What's my repair skill? What is it anyway? Curious. Oh, all right, 176. Okay. Well, that's still good. That's still really good. <laughs> uh huh. All right. Well, it looks like our little balconies over here, our little like window balconies, kind of like cruise ship deal. They're kind of like breaking off and stuff, but uh. But it's to be expected. I mean, they're made of wood, for crying out loud. But, uh, okay. Our cannons... Oh, you know what? This is great, though. You know, our cannons are doing a good job. Like, like look at them. Look at them shoot. They're, they're still shooting. Uh, they're changing targets all the time. That's good, you know? Like, like focusing on... Uh, I mean, oh, my God. Look at, look at this. Look at this over here. I mean, it sucks to be this guy. <laughs> I mean, you know? You know what I'm saying? 
It's like, oh, he's still shooting. What a, what a bro. He's still shooting. Wow. All right, so he's done. He's done. Um, but what, what have we done with this? Okay, and we brought down that guy, too, that was up in the sky there that I told our, uh, our jets, our uh, princesses, to go ahead and take down. We took that out. This guy over here is exploding. I, I can, I'm hoping. Yeah, okay, so that guy's exploding. For some reason, it seems like hmm, our, our uh, Rainmaker is having a hard time floating level. Uh, but, I mean, they're still shooting. I mean, they're still doing their thing, so that's good. I mean, whatevs. And I'm very impressed by our Ocean Avengers. I mean, there's always got to be, like, that one, though. That one that, like, flips around. There's always got to be that one. Idiot. <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, we're still, we're still doing good. We're still doing good here. Clobbering this guy over here. It's un I mean, like, like, when they sink like this, they have such a low profile, it takes, like, half an hour to, like, literally, like, beat them. It's so annoying. Uh, even what, wait, what's this sub over here doing? Look at this sneaky guy. I tell you what, I really don't like subs, but I do it for you guys. I do it because I love you guys, so. <laughs> so, actually, there you go. Okay, so he's doing something. Now that I came over to, like, you know, peek at him, he's just like, okay, I'll start shooting missiles now. You know, the boss is watching. So, alright, so he's shooting his missiles. Good for him. Okay, good. So, I, I think we got this, uh, I think we got this fight wrapped up here. Honestly, I can't leave this battle alone. I gotta bring you guys back. It's just so cool, just just sitting here, chilling on this boat. I mean, I mean, look look at that. Alright, I gotta zoom in again. Sorry, I'm just obsessed with explosions. Look at that. That guy's blowing up over there. It's amazing. It's so poetic. It's, it's so poetic. Alright, so there it goes. That guy's blowing up. This guy over here, everyone's shooting at too. Look at this. Like, even we're shooting at him. He's getting, like, drilled over there. I mean, it's just chaos all around. It's war. It was like, you know, our, our floor is like full of ocean water, you know, no one's mopping up anymore, it's like, hey, everyone's busy just, like, going ham bone out here. It's really, it's really cool, let's see what's going, even going on out there, like, on the, on the, uh, horizon. Past the waves. Yeah, that guy. That guy, he's getting hammered now. He's having a real bad day. It's pretty darn cool, pretty darn cool. Okay, so this was, this is a really fun fight, actually, I really enjoyed this. It, it was very good, we're missing some roofs and stuff like that, but, um, yeah, it's good. I tell you what, I think they're starting to feel the pressure now. Uh, they're sending guys, more guys. We just mopped up this whole area. It's been a great fight. Very, very good day. Very good day for us. Uh, so we are going ahead and, uh, and adjusting our, uh, our, our force here. So we're facing the right direction. Uh, still in the same little area because we really, I mean, they're so fast. We just only have time to, uh, to just kind of reform. And uh, so pro probably once we take these guys out, they're sending us uh, those, these guys in piecemeal. Once we take them out, we're going to take out the 78. And then move on to their home base. Hopefully it'll be that easy. It looks like they're sending more guys to pillage some resources. What is this? Three guys, huh? Three guys. And they're sending them uh, over down this way. But they're probably going to go ahead and cut over this way. They'll be like, oh, there's a fight going on here and our brothers are dying and they're going to try to reinforce. And, you know, so we'll probably fight this and this and this. And then they'll have nobody left to defend. Just, it's just going to be like us and, uh, and, and their base. Yeah. Alright, so I'm kind of in the mood for a rainy fight right now. Honestly, uh, fending off these guys. Don't even know really who our enemies are coming in. I think it's just like these three guys. Uh, so, let's see what this is like in the rain. Uh, watching the tracers, following the tracers up to their targets. Out in the sky here. Don't even think we need to call in the pretty princesses. Oh, we might for this guy. This sucker right up here, we might have to call in the princesses. This guy is low enough. Oh, look. oh my gosh, he's already going down. He doesn't even know. He doesn't even know where the shots are coming from. He's just like, he's like, Captain, Captain, um, hey, listen, listen, Captain, there's, uh, I can't see where I'm going. And, it, and the Captain's gonna be like, no, just turn your windshield wipers on. He's like, no, 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 you don't understand. Uh, it's not, it's not the rain. It's not the rain. We all know what it is. It's tracer rounds. <laughs> um, okay, actually, I don't even know where I am right now. Where's the, uh, let me go ahead and bring in our, um, our flyers here. Are they in range? Yeah, they should be in range. Okay, good. Let me go ahead and bring them in and tell them to target this fool over here. Um, oh, that's just a missile. Alright, I gotta find this guy, actually. Kinda scared right now, actually. Kinda scared. Don't know what's going on. It's dark, it's raining. Uh, I'm a cold robot, alone in the dark. Naked. I don't know, well, I guess all the robots are naked. Oh my gosh, and everything is, is a uh, fragging all around me. What the heck is that? On, on my deck. What is on my deck? Let me run to it. Oh. Okay, let me run to it. Let me run to it. What what's on my deck? Is it really? <laughs> wow. Wait, is that one of our submarines or what? Oh, that guy's still flying up there. Come on, man. Somebody take that guy out. All right, that's that's it. I got to I got to like do this. I got to do this now. 
Uh, okay, alright. Princess, now. I don't know why the AI is only... Oh, actually, that's right, because he's not a fast target. Usually AI highly value fast targets and flying targets, but he's not very fast. That's probably why they kind of ignore him uh, for a good while. So let me, uh, <laughs> let me get back in here. Wow, this is a great shot. Look at this guy collided right into our deck. What a, what, what nerf, what nerf. And now we're going to get pilted from all, sh all manner of shots from uh, our own guys. Um, you know, you know, maybe that was their plan all along. Something like that. It's a pretty goofy time here out in the ocean. Let me tell you, <laughs> it's like missiles bouncing off and stuff. Cannons, uh... Shooting all around. Actually, heck, I'm just gonna jump on this guy. What is this? Is this our sub or is this their guy? No, it's their guy. He's just hanging out. He's just trying to get a piece. Alright. But uh, but next time, next episode, we're gonna go ahead and assault their base. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, I think they got like one more set of reinforcements coming around here or something. Um, I should probably get out of here before I get shot in the face. Or lasered. Wow. Are those lasers or... Uh, yeah, those are probably lasers. Okay. But yeah, I mean, I'm pretty tough though, so I can get away with being um, reckless. But yeah, but next episode we'll go ahead and uh, and attack their base and fend off their reinforcement here. Take out these suckers over here and get this job done. Get these guys out of here, you know? Because I'm, I'm sick and tired of these flyers. They they uh, they pose a real threat. And maybe we'll go after the lightning hoods next. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, but till then, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.